What's going on everybody, I'm Giant Opinion Sports. Today we're going to talk about Derek Stingley, a five-star recruit coming out of high school. His freshman season, he was probably the best cornerback in college football. That's almost unheard of. Six interceptions as a true freshman, and LSU wins the national championship. And after that season, Derek Stingley had started down the path, possibly a number one pick in the NFL draft. But the following seasons in 2020 and 2021 were not the best. Injuries that started showing up. Stingley had struggled to stay on the field. I've heard other people blame coaching changes for some of Stingley's inconsistent play. It is frustrating to see how the last two seasons have turned out. Stingley is such a great prospect, and it sucks that I have to have this skepticism with him. I fell in love with Caleb Farley last season, and he was very similar to Stingley going into the NFL. Same kind of situation, same injury concerns. We saw Caleb Farley go out for the year with the Titans. It just, it is what it is. Now listen, maybe Derek Stingley can have a long career in the NFL with really no bad injuries. But right now, it is a very serious concern. A lot of these guys nowadays, they carry their injury history from college into the NFL. So I just wanted to get all that stuff out of the way so we can get into what I love about Derek Stingley. And the first thing that pops out instantly is just his freakish athleticism. This guy will run a 4-2, 4-3, in the combine. You know, he is just a freakish, freakish athlete. By far the best corner prospect since I've been scouting. I am very excited to see what he can do with the combine. I think he's going to blow it up. Maybe he breaks records. Who knows? I mean, he is that fast. It's almost impossible to beat this guy over the top. Even if you do somehow get on the top of him, he's got the best recovery speed I've ever seen from a college prospect. So it's insane. He catches back up to wide receivers and he flash. And if you're a Giants fan, it's kind of like we see James Bradbury getting beat over the top, but then out of nowhere, he just seems to get this burst of speed and gets his hand in there to break up the play. That's the kind of stuff that this kid will do. And he does all this with great size. This is a 6'1", 6'2", corner doing this stuff. You know, the other thing that popped at me is, is his ball skills. Like, this guy could be a wide receiver if you wanted. I, I really do believe that. He is a ball hawk. You know, move over Trayvon Diggs. It's time to take a back seat when this guy gets going. First off, if you're a quarterback thrown in his direction, you're just not very smart to begin with. Secondly, Derrick Stingley will have a ton of interceptions in the NFL. That is something I guarantee. I don't think it'll take long for quarterbacks to completely look away from the guy he's covering. That has already happened in college. You know, Stingley will go games without being challenged, really. And that's another reason why his numbers have kind of went down, besides the injuries. I mean, Stingley is a willing tackler. Also, he comes up and thumps at times. I love his height. He's, he's perfect in that department. But I do think he could probably bulk up a little bit. He's listed at 195 pounds. I'd like to see him get up to that 210 pounds. You know, and I really think it would help him in the run game. And obviously, I think it would help with his injuries. You know, I, I, I just I hate that when you talk about this kid. It always comes back to that. That's not right. But listen, with the run game, there wasn't missed tackles on tape. I mean, I'm not going to harp on it because he is a cornerback. So with tackling issues, the nickel slot corner spot probably ain't for him. He did line up LSU a little bit in the slot. He didn't do as well as he did on the outside. I, that's just how I see him. I see him as a straight up outside corner. So he may not be the kind of cornerback that's going to follow the best receiver around the field. He'll just lock down his side of the field every snap. Will some people dock him for that? Maybe. But I do think there's just huge value in having a lockdown corner on one side of the field. Kind of a bit similar to what we saw with Patrick Peterson. And I think that's probably his best comp. Maybe Stingley has better ball skills. He definitely has better ball skills. But I view him like Trayvon Diggs ball skills wise. And he's a man cover specialist. Although I think he's better in man. I do like some of his own sets that I saw on tape. He knows how to read wide receivers. You know, he understands route combinations. You can see him eyeing receivers' hips. He's very smart with that stuff. So, ultimately, I want him to go to a team that runs a ton of man, you know, cover zero kind of stuff. And listen, I know this will sound crazy, but this kid has the talent to be the next Deion Sanders. I'm not going to predict that, but I have seen plenty of people that will say that. And if anyone has a shot at reaching that level, it's this kid. You know, he just needs to stay on the field. But the talent, the athleticism, and playmaking is all there. You know, I wish I saw it more the last couple of seasons, but it's hard to showcase your skills when no one throws at you, first of all, and you're hurt. So if you're a fan of the team that drafts him, be very, very excited. I mean, the ceiling on this guy, you 
probably just got the best cornerback prospect in at least the last decade. So I will definitely have a few updates next season to keep track on, you know, his, his progress. And as a Giants fan who just hired Wink Martindale, I think it just became very possible he gets drafted here. I think he'll most likely go to the Jets. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that there is a possibility he's in blue and red now. But that's it for me. Um, if you guys, if there's any specific prospect you want to see, let me know down in the comments. Please like. These things take a long time. I appreciate that. That keeps me motivated to keep going. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And peace. Stay safe, folks.